I was very curious to see it because um, of the cultural history of Kyoto and um, I just love to see all the temples and uh, the architecture and um, the geisha district etc. I see the graphic elements like which are very elegant here for for instance the the shadows of the maple leaves if you see the shadows on the wall or something it's, it's, it has this very refined uh, elegant uh, structure and all these things I see translated in the Japanese culture which is very fascinating to see For instance, I see, if I look at the trees and the bamboo and the sounds and the, for instance, the, the softness of the, um, of the light on the lake is very different here than in Holland somehow. The colors are different, different kind of atmosphere. I see how, for instance, uh, nature uh, has influenced the art and the culture in Japan in such an uh, incredible way. It's a very different way than, than we deal with, with the light and with the nature uh, in Holland. Well, if I can compare Japan with, for instance, Africa, I think there are a lot of differences. Japan is so refined, um, Africa is just much more bold, it's much more loud. The African sun is a very strong sunlight, the light is very harsh and the colors are very strong. While here, it's very different. Here in Japan, what I love about things here is that uh, it's a kind of s a synergy of opposites. Like on one hand you have the modern technology, and then on the other hand you have the ancient history and, uh, uh, and the nature, which is such a big part of the culture. What is very interesting is that the animist culture is also something which I find in Africa, but then in a completely different way. So there are similarities, there is this link between those two very different cultures. But uh, apart from that, it, they are miles apart. I find it very exciting. I see how nature is transformed or uh, translated to artworks here, which is very interesting. I think uh, the Japanese culture is much more refined. And especially in the in Shinto culture, what I uh, find really interesting is also the animistic worldview. I think voyage for me means exploring nice, huh? new and unknown territories and I have a very strong curiosity. If I'm traveling, my senses get inspired so much. The whole story. That's the, the great thing about traveling <laughs> about the voyage. <laughs> <laughs>